Hi, today we're going to go through changing out a standard receptacle outlet to a Clairview lighting tamper resistant receptacle that is Z-Wave capable. So the first thing we're going to do is disconnect power to the outlet. We can do this simply by flipping the breaker and then using a circuit tester to test to make sure that there is no power. Next thing we're going to do is remove the cover plate. ahead and remove the outlet itself. Now on an existing junction box there may be several wires inside of it. If you're in a series circuit, no worries. We're just going to go ahead and snap all the nuts on this. Disconnect all of our wires. There will be three wires black, which is your hot, white, which is your neutral, green, which is your ground. We're going to use all three wires in picking up the new receptacle. If you have enough wire, it's typically easier to go ahead and cut off the curved portion. So when you're installing the new one, you have a straight line because the new receptacle actually has bare wires and not screw terminals. So we'll be using wire nuts rather than screwing it directly to the receptacle. Inside the package for the new outlet are going to be wire nuts and screws. Make sure you don't lose those because we're going to need those for the installation. So when installing the new outlet, black to black, white to white, green to ground. When you're using your wire nuts, make sure that you twist them on all the way to where both wires are actually wrapping around themselves. Once you have all your wire nuts secured, you want to carefully push your wiring back into the box. This is going to be a tight fit, especially if it is a box that is a series with other outlets. You also want to make sure the orientation of your outlet is correct with the ground lug facing down. Using the screws that come with the receptacle. Next step is to go ahead and turn the breaker back on and we'll check to make sure we have power. Okay, we've restarted power. You can see you have a blinking blue light, which is an indicator. Also, you can check simply by using our circuit tester. That blue light's indicator of power and we're ready for Z-Wave enrollment to enroll in your Z-Wave network. Simply press the, the button in the middle. The last step, final step, is to put on a trim plate such as this one. Two screws, top and bottom. Thanks for watching.